This is the flying snake captured from the space shuttle looking down. The, the Mexican call it the, the galactic worm. It's nothing but a craft, a reptilian spacecraft. And oh my God, it looks like a coral snake. And it is a snake-like craft. Look, look, look at the, it's, it's segmented. Look at that. This guy did a reverse Photoshop on that. And that's what he found out. I can't remember who did this work, but that's what that is. It's a spacecraft. It's not any freaking living thing or nothing. Just like Jose Escamilla talk about those rods. Well, they are electromagnetic vehicles just like this one. They can acquire any shape and form they desire and size. I, I don't know what, what, what people, how stupid people are. Thinking of living things in space and here. Yeah, there might be microorganisms living in space, but this this snake living in the exosphere, the the part of the 400 miles up from the ground, just on space, it is a spacecraft. Because look at it, it's a snake. Look at that right there. It's all segmented. This is one of the best work I've seen on a craft. If it's not the best I've seen on details on a spacecraft from the reptilians. Now if you have a doubt who is who is the people that is flying around this deal? Well, you can dispel everything. They're reptilians. Look what this is. This is a spacecraft segmented. And each part can fly on his own. Look at that pair of eyes. That detail right there. You got a square deal, a rectangular thing with a sphere at the tip. You can see the spherical thing right there at the tip. So it's a rectangular thing. Almost transparent, but it's because this guy use a, a, a white background to to do the the work. He should use a, a a light color, not a white background like that, because he doesn't show the contrast is not as good. But that's it right there. You're looking at it. You can see this, every part has reptile faces. Every single part of it. And she is like, a, I have to give him a, a, a 
like we are in a classroom and I'm giving a class. Look at left eye, right eye, triangular, but it's another smaller face right here with the mouth and two eyes here and two eyes there and another two eyes here. So this is like, see every segment has heads and eyes and but it's all structures. It's a machine. It's exactly like that on every other craft that you will see in, in related to these people. I don't know how, how else to present this thing. This is it. And believe it or not, they use a snake shape just to just to show us who is Papa, who's your daddy. Look at this uh, face right there. That's a, a snake face right there. Look. See it twice. So just to give you an idea how, look, a snake head right there with the bulging part above the eye just like a snake. The left eye, the right eye. Boom, V shape. That's how you know who the craft and how they and those heads moves around individually from it's apparently they those are like the scopes. And sensor, they can see optically, electronically, you know, some way they can capture all kinds of sensorial deals. It is part of it. I mean, just look at that's the neck right there. That's the most. Uh, complex part that I see on the on this craft. Just imagine that technology, man, that you can separate each part and it can fly on its own and come back together and wiggle like a snake. And you would think that it's a, the cosmic worm wiggling, the ring worm wiggling around in space and or in the clouds and you think it is a oh my god was well, a living thing oh it's not a freaking living thing it's a mechanical deal it's a craft that's all that's all there is a craft and look at the shape a snake those are the colors right there the real color because they love colorful deals. Look at that. They look like a, they, those are the colors of a poisonous snake. Very colorful and like, don't mess with me or I'll bite your ass and have super poison. But it's only an imitation. Look, now the rectangular part is upside down. See, you, you can see the, the, this guy, I couldn't go even a step further on this. In fact, I was working on this, but I, I have so many images and you just get tired. You just get tired of, of you know. I'm not getting paid for this bullshit. I'm just trying to show the truth. This is what it is right there. A reptilian deal. 
Look at that. Now just think about how the hell that thing is going to land or they can land any way they want. In fact, they can just keep two inches from the ground. <clears throat> no problem. Look, it has the face, the eyes and everything like a snake. Look at that shit. Just unbelievable. Look at the eyes. In reality, the eyes are probably some kind of sensor and shit that they move and look around. And and it has another set of eyes underneath by the mouth. There's like four spherical things. You can see right there. It has like two things sticking up, like two horns. Well, these are really some kind of sensor thing. There's another face right there. I mean, you have faces everywhere or heads everywhere in that part of the snake. The segmented deal is all really bunch of parts stuck together of craft. It's a, it's a segmented several craft hooked together. Look, this is a, a, a shot from the head, a head shot. Right there. Amazing, man, how these entities can do this kind of deal, man. Look at that. The eye is really a tube with a oval shape. Something is sticking out that makes the appearance of an eye. In reality, it's not a freaking eye at all. It's just from far away, that's what it looked like. And look, there's another reptile head right there, and, and another one, and another one. It's, uh, look at the square parts right there. This is amazing. This work was done, I don't remember who did this. But it really, wow, it really, Good job, man. That looked like the cockpit right up there on top of the head. Right up here, it looked like it's several windows. And it's a round, a dome like you can see. So, like I said, this is not a tiny little tiny little snake like this is a big ass craft probably the size of a 747 I, mean, I don't know in reality but it is a big if that's the cockpit you better believe that this thing is large Look, that's the tail section. See, it's all segmented, like overlapping each other. It's electromagnetic, it's stuck with magnets. That's what I say, when you got electromagnetic, you control electromagnetic energy, you can do anything. Look at that. That appears to be the main entrance to the craft. Look at that blue, it's pretty. I mean, this